playing with the Columbus Wildcats. My name's Bob O'Donnell, number 66, offensive tackle. Okay, I know this is your second time to play, but the first time you heard that you had a chance to get a play in an alumni football game, what did you think? What I think, I immediately went and signed up, and then I thought the rest would take care of it later. You know, take care of itself later. I'm going to sign up, get involved, and see what happens. How, how do you like hear about it? Uh, local newspaper actually came out with something. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Full contact, full pads look pretty good to me. <laughs> All right, okay, good. Why do you want to play in this game? You know, I've racked my brain coming up, trying to come up with the best reason I can possibly come up with. I love football. I love football. I get a chance to play again. You know, some people say, oh, you get to feel like a kid again. Well, I don't feel like a kid. A bunch of grown men going across me in 90 degree heat that doesn't make me feel like a kid at all, but I'm loving this. All right, great. All right, what have you done to prepare for this game? Uh, prior to last year, I had lost over 100 pounds. Wow. And I had uh, tried to get myself in really good shape just, just because, you know, it's time to do it. And then this game came around. So having a year to prepare, you know, I got out and got running this year and uh, lost a little bit more weight. And, I know it's not hard. This is probably hard for, for you to tell right now, but I'm actually hey, smaller. Looking good. And uh, hit the weights, and we've had 11 practices, one a week since April. And uh, I mean, thinking about it 24, 24 seven is another way I've been prepared for it too. So. Okay, good. So, are you saying like last year before you played, did you just lose that? Did you lose it because of the game, or did you just no, lost it? I had no it? idea just, the game was coming. Okay, the game good. Almost, you know, it just kind of came. It was almost like a reward. Like, hey, yeah. you know, you've, you've done all this for yourself. Now you get the chance to do this, and it's a good thing. You know, it's a good thing that we had, did it again, you know, and I was able to stay on the wagon. And all right, good deal. All right, is there anything in your life, probably the, the question that you just did, but is there anything in your life that you've had to overcome different from anybody else? Well, that would be one thing, definitely for sure. You know, losing but, uh, the weight. Know, yeah, losing weight. But you know, uh, you know, we've had some, had some maybe some uh, family tragedy. You know, about six years ago that uh, changed a lot of things, changed the way I thought about a lot of things. And uh, so a game like this, be able to come out and have so much fun, and feel that you know, feel like a family with this, with this group here, uh, helps you get over stuff like that. All right, great, awesome. All right, are you gonna have the biggest hit of the game? I'm supposed to, because he told me to. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, a couple more questions. Um, what advice would you give anybody that's going to play an alumni football game? Prepare. Get organized, prepare. If you're going to sign up to play football, you've already got it in your heart. But don't just, don't just walk on the field thinking, yeah, I'll do what I used to do. It's not going to be that way. Get ready. You better get ready.